okay good evening one and all so today uh, we have uh, with us uh, dr john davis zakara so he is going to talk to us about the various e learning resources which are available in ophthalmology and um, most of you would be knowing who dr john is he was with us uh, during his glaucoma fellowship currently he is a faculty at the department of ophthalmology at sri ramachandra medical college chennai so before that he was working at the little flower hospital and the western eye hospital he completed his uh, mbbs and ms from jupmer following which he did his glaucoma fellowship at pondicherry and uh, he also did this ratan tata advanced cataract fellowship at shankar netralia he has presented in various conferences and has won awards for smartphone based vr perimetry smartphone ophthalmic photography and virtual reality in ophthalmology and uh, he has various publications and innovations in ophthalmology artificial intelligence 3d printing smartphone slit lamp photography amongst others and he is more into technology and gadgets and does some programming website designing and has made a uh, ophthalmic uh, smartphone apps such as eye grader and 3d atlas in ophthalmology over to you dr john for your talk on e resources thank you sir for the introduction um so <laughs> hi everyone i'll uh, get right to the webinar so let me just start sharing the screen just checking is it visible for everyone yeah okay so today i'm going to talk about the e learning resources in ophthalmology with this uh, covid pandemic and lockdown we have all been stuck at home and uh, this is the best time to make use of these e learning resources so first uh, let us see why this is important because e learning resources uh, most of it is accessible to all it is free or very affordable we can actually uh, make it free so that it uh, it can be available all over the world anywhere and at any time you can learn at your own pace you can multitask you can listen to a podcast while doing something else you can read while waiting for something we can collaborate and uh, work with people from different places uh, this uh, was uh, this webinar was born out of an article which i had written for kerala journal of ophthalmology if you want to get the article it's available at uh, this website kerala journal of ophthalmology just search for e learning resources for ophthalmologists which was published a uh, few weeks back and uh, let us look at what types of uh, e learning resources i'm going to be talking about there are the ophthalmology websites then the webinars that is most of it was caused by the pandemic the youtube and itube videos which have been there a lot but now there is a huge amount of videos being produced during this lockdown session then there are podcasts which are audio uh, resources which you can listen to and i have been listening to podcasts while i have been driving from uh, my home to where i was working so i had a one and a half hour drive every day and i used to listen to podcasts of course all of you must be familiar with ebooks when you are not able to get the uh, full book you usually get the ebook and uh, it's uh, very convenient to have it with you at all times i have to specially acknowledge dr pranesh and dr subhashni dr subhashni was uh, from arvind pondicherry and dr pranesh from arvind madurai and they uh, recently created a, a book of online resources in ophthalmology special thanks to them for making that first let us look at the websites so one of the websites which i had missed to mention in the article is i today this is created by another alumnus of arvind pondicherry dr prashant so this has lots of uh, focal articles that is uh, short point points in article journals conferences webinars tele ophthalmology and other things so this is the page of the conferences which lets you know which conferences are upcoming 
and then there is the news updates from ophthalmology and then the access to the journals then the flash cards which are small uh, topics which will help you to revise an exam topic quickly then there is ophthalmo bites which i also missed so this is by dr shashwanti mohan from uh, rajnay care and she has made a website where she has uh, pictures and details about that so basically it's a ophthalmology atlas with uh, details about the condition this is also useful for postgraduate students there is also a facebook page where the corresponding updates are given then this is uh, by dr shana dr shana sood first from agarwal eye hospital and uh, she has made a website with all the investigation that is oct fields pentacam or orb scan ffa asoct all these things with their uh, reports and how to uh, the particular diseases and their reports so if you have uh, oct you have slides with what a typical epiretinal membrane looks like and the typical central serous retinopathy things like that so so this is for all your investigations then there is e ofta which is a very well known website by dr partho pratim majumdar from shankar netralia he has been working on it for several years and uh, it has been updated recently and there is a blog where there are articles from doctors all over india the ophthalmologists all over india then he has dedicated special sections for anatomy powerpoint presentations and uh, lots of uh, interviews with uh, uh, ophthalmologists who have cleared some exams their special tips and so many other things so this is an exam this is a website which was useful for us during our pg preparation as well as uh, for fellowship and so many other things then this is another new website this is by dr krati gupta and dr saurabh deshmukh i believe dr krati is right now in narayan netralaya and they were both in uh, uh, shankar deva netralaya in guwahati so they made a website for specifically for residency and uh, fellow, residents and fellows there are lots of very useful in, uh, guides there are interviews and so many resources for ophthalmologists and you can download all these question banks you can download special notes you can download uh, uh, powerpoint presentations from here so that is ilearn.in then there is iwiki this is by the american academy of ophthalmology this is the wikipedia for ophthalmologists so if you look at wikipedia it is its major uh, uh, the major catch of wikipedia is that you can actually edit wikipedia anybody can edit wikipedia so instead of just having a wikipedia which is edited by everyone this is a wikipedia which is edited only by ophthalmologists so we can verify that the information here is true even though it is in a wikipedia format and uh, if you want to you can actually um, request for an account and uh, once you prove that you are an ophthalmologist they will give you an account and you can also contribute here then uh, the all india ophthalmology society they have a proceedings website so all the conferences of the all india ophthalmology society are documented here and for the past few years the videos of the sessions that is all the paper presentations all the instruction courses all the hyde park presentations everything is recorded in video and terabytes of data are uploaded here for free if you look at some international conferences you might see that american academy of ophthalmology they have the videos of the sessions but it will be only for paid members all india ophthalmology society has made this available for free and even in this you have pg update programs they have sessions specifically for uh, residents for specifically for fellows if you search in this you will get lots of information so that is the proceedings.aios.org then this is the more nice center which has the clinical ophthalmology resource for education where you have grand rounds lectures surgery videos and other uh, other useful information for residents this is targeted at the 
uh, US uh, residents, but it is uh, it is useful for everybody. So this is morencore at utah.edu. Then there is the image bank uh, at the ASRS, that is the American Society of Retinal Specialists. This is a lot of beautiful retinal photographs with information about the conditions. And uh, you can look for images there and you can also contribute here. So if you take some good uh, images in retina and you see that it is not documented, uh, that particular disease or that particular specific uh, uh, sign is not documented here, just upload the image, put in the details. It will be useful for ophthalmologists everywhere. That is imagebank.asrs.org. Then there is the idocs.co.uk, which is also a question banks and other resources targeted for courses in the UK. Then there was this Mutusami Virtual University of Postgraduate Ophthalmology. I have not used this, but this is uh, having lots of uh, support for all the fellowship exams, such as ICO, FRCS, and FRC of. You can register there for free and you can get support for learning uh, for these exams. So that is mvupgo.com. And of course, you should not forget the gonioscopy website, the Atlas of Gonioscopy by Dr. Wallace Alward, gonioscopy.org. So if you are uh, looking to learn gonioscopy, when you are in the beginning of learning gonioscopy, you can look at this website. There are lots of beautiful videos where uh, he has taken gonioscopy of his daughter. He has taught how to do gonioscopy by using his daughter as the patient. So this is a very useful website. Then there is the Orbis cyber site. So Orbis is the international NGO which has an aeroplane and flies around to conduct eye camps uh, all over Africa and Asia. And uh, if you go to this website, cyber site, there are several places. Uh, there are live consultations. There is a library. There are webinars. The online learning part has specific courses specific courses with uh, certificates. So if you want to attend the fundamentals of diabetic retinopathy, you can attend the course, which is a multi-module course, and you will get a certificate from the CyberSight uh, website after you complete the exams associated with that. And all of this is free. And of course, you should not forget that there is also an artificial intelligence uh, uh, in the consultation part of it. So if you go to the online consultation, consultation part, you can log in and you can use artificial intelligence on funders images for free over here. And these are the listings of the webinars. And uh, this is the Root Atlas, which is by Dr. Timothy Root. There are lots of very simple videos for freshers to ophthalmology and he uses props, he uses uh, toys and uh, props like that to help you learn ophthalmology very beautifully. So if you are new to refraction, if you are new to all these uh, topics, just look at it and you will understand the topic very nicely and you will have fun. Another website by Dr. Timothy Root is the author book, which is an ophthalmology textbook which he has authored and he has put it online for free. So you can buy it also, but the actual text of the entire book is available for free on the website as well. Then there is the uh, MRC of the website by Professor Shua. So this is also useful when you're uh, le learning for the exams for the MRC of the, the FRCS and FIC. This is lots of MCQs and interviews with the candidates who have finished the exams. Then there is the neuro ophthalmology website. So if you uh, if you want to look, go hardcore into neuro ophthalmology, there is this novel.utah.edu where they have lectures and videos from starting from 1970 to now. Very very extensive collection. Then there is the iGuru, and you have uh, videos, flashcards, and other learning resources for residents here. Then the Iowa uh, uh, 
University of Iowa has the glaucoma curriculum. So not just gonioscopy, Dr. Wallace Alvord has assisted in this and made an entire glaucoma curricular set, uh, set of videos. If you, you can actually download the videos, I think uh, in Arvind Pondicherry, the librarian has the videos already. Otherwise, uh, you can just go to the website and you can watch all the videos of this glaucoma curriculum by Dr. Wallace Alvord. And this is RPC round. So one uh, one ophthalmology resident like you uh, doing uh, doing residency in All India Institute of Medical Sciences, that is the RP Center, made this website RP Center RPC Rounds dot blogspot dot com or something. Recently, he has shifted to a new website. This is the updated website, and he has written lots of notes, lots of useful notes. And he has written books. He has put the books as uh, PDFs. He has booked the bo books as eBooks, which can be downloaded on Amazon, on Kindle. All these are available here. So this is a very useful website made by an ophthalmology resident like you. And the Ophthalmic Edge is another website, which has, uh, like I pointed out in the Orbis uh, consultation, Orbis uh, e-learning. There are courses which you can attend in Ophthalmic Edge. The American Academy of Ophthalmology has a very extensive website and it is uh, only for members. But if you are a member of the All India Ophthalmology Society, you automatically have access to the one network. So if you don't know this yet, you are a member of the All India Ophthalmology Society. Just check on the AOS website on how to get access to this. It's very simple. You just have to update your email address and log in with that. You will get lots of lots of resources. You have case discussions. You have rounds. You have uh, videos. You have lectures. You have quizzes. All these things available in the American Academy of Ophthalmology One Network. This Atlas of Ophthalmology is a collaborative atlas where uh, there are lots of ophthalmic images and even here you can upload your images if you register you can submit an image if you find an Im if you find there is some place where there is no appropriate image and you have taken a good image you can upload the image to this website i have uh, uploaded a few images here as well then there is irounds.org this is from the University of Iowa again, and this has rounds, images, videos, tutorials. This is not just restricted to glaucoma like the other two. This is all of ophthalmology. This is also a very useful website. Then the International Council, Council of Ophthalmology has an e-learning website. And even here, there are specific courses which you can attend, modular courses which you can attend and then write an exam at the end of it. And here you will find information about various scholarships and uh, various fellowships which are available for ophthalmology residents. So it, this is a very useful website to keep track of, okay, the ICO. And when you're learning retinoscopy, the American Academy of Ophthalmology has a retinoscopy simulator. It is very difficult uh, to learn retinoscopy. Uh, and so if you have a simulator, you can actually work this out on the computer. You, it, this actually works on the phone, not very well, but if, it, if you want, you can open this website on your smartphone and still uh, you can do this. A little complicated to work with, but it still works. You can get um, guided, uh, guided simulation where you learn how to do retinoscopy, and then you will have a sample question where the question is uh, asked, what is the refraction of this patient? And you will have to figure it out by moving all the values around and uh, moving the light around and figuring out what is the final answer. Similarly, there is also a strabismus simulator. So this is a simple strabismus simulator where you can do the cover and cover, alternate cover, all these uh, simple tests and including the prism. There is also the complex strabismus simulator if you want to go into more detailed uh, squint uh, evaluation. So these things will help you to understand uh, squint, uh, understand refraction, especially in this uh, lockdown period where you don't have uh, patients. This is uh, very useful, especially for the freshers 
make note of these simulators okay then squint master is another squint related website by dr uh, sudhir singh he has also made a software for evaluation of skin there are lots of surgical videos lots of articles so squintmaster.com so that was uh, a basic list of websites now let us switch to a different type that is podcasts i guess more not many of you have listened to podcasts podcasts are audios which come in episodes so if you uh, want if you have an apple uh, phone that is an iphone you can install apple podcasts if you are a google for fan you can install google podcasts on an apple uh, iphone or an android phone or you can use any of these in either apple or android so these softwares let you browse to these specific uh, podcasts such as as seen from here this is a very very regular very interesting podcast which has been uh, started by i forget the name of the doctor who started it but he has been start, he has started this website uh, podcast long back and then the acrs incorporated his podcast into their website because it was so good so as seen from here.com is one way to access it or you can just search for as seen from here from one of the podcasting uh, softwares which i had mentioned it's very useful to listen to these when you are driving or exercising or uh, whenever you cannot look at a screen this is a very very useful uh, use of time then there is the ophthalmology of the grid uh, this is a very very inspiring and innovative podcast where they interview uh, several of them all this so in the in the beginning episodes it was all about innovators they interview ophthalmic innovators and they ask questions about how they came across uh, the problem to be solved how they solved the problem and uh, what difficulties they faced and their story it's very very inspiring then there is straight from the cutter's mouth which is a retina podcast lots and lots of retina content 255 episodes now and it's going keep it i think it's every week every week there's a new episode yet another uh, retina podcast is the retina channel so uh, this uh, retina doctors uh, i think uh, would commute a lot so if they are working at multiple centers they would commute a lot so i this would be very very uh, useful when they are traveling by car or traveling by public transport they can listen to a podcast this is a second retina podcast which i mentioned then there is this the new retina radio which is also another retina podcast these three are uh, interesting retina podcast then uh, from india we have the snippets the shankar netralaya podcast where they have talked about specific topics they have residents sitting with a consultant and uh, discussing a particular topic so they talk about the history of fake emulsification orbital implants they might even talk talk about a specific exam topic so this is something which uh, which is very interesting very useful which even arvind pondicherry can start maybe you can start a uh, oro tube uh, like podcast oro tube podcast this is another one uh, the ice for years this is by a bunch of ophthalmology residents in the us they sit together and discuss topics which they are preparing for their ocaps that is their uh, exams so they discuss specific topics they discuss corneal burns they would uh, be a bunch of four residents three or four residents sitting and discussing the topic exactly as they need to study for the exam that is eyesforyears.net this is not specifically targeted at india so arvind pondicherry maybe there is time to make one then there is a jama of the molji author interviews which are interviews with the authors of the published articles in jama of the molji so when you see a new interesting article you can just listen to the podcast or you don't even need to read the article you just listen to the podcast and it is as if you read the article 
and it is explained by the author of the article so that you have no confusion. So uh, let us look at some smartphone apps now. We covered websites and podcasts. Let's look at some apps. There are lots of apps for several things, but uh, let us see what is uh, useful for uh, ophthalmic residents. The My Eye Anatomy is one of the several anatomy apps. If you just search for eye anatomy in 3D or in virtual reality, you will get so many apps where you get a 3D model eye on your phone and you can rotate it around. You can see what the parts are. You can uh, remove the muscles. You can have uh, only certain layers show up. And it is very useful for freshers to learn about anatomy. Then there is cataract surgery app. This app, um, <laughs> it, it is not uh, very accurate, but you can practice capsulorexis and you can even practice Faco in a simulation on your phone. So you just download the app and start doing rexis by your, using your finger on the app screen. And this is how to do Faco emulsification and this shows the cross-sectional depth. And this is not at all realistic, but it will give you an idea of what it is like. Then there is Ofto Questions, which is a, which is a resource for exams. Of the questions, just search on the uh, Play Store, you will get this. Then iTube, as I mentioned earlier, uh, no, I have not mentioned iTube yet. It's a YouTube-like website for ophthalmology. They have an app so that it is easier for you to browse the website. Then there is Octavia, which is a retinal OCT atlas. So this is an atlas of retinal OCTs. iGrader is an app made by myself. Uh, this is for all the grading systems in ophthalmology. So if you say want to grade cataract, you go to the cataract section, you will see the various types of gradings related to cataract, including to the LOCS2, LOCS3. You might even have the posterior capsule opacification grading and uh, so many other gradings of cataract. And then the glaucoma, you will get the uh, Van Herrick's grading, you'll get the uh, gonioscopy gradings, you'll get so many gradings related to glaucoma. And like that, I've arranged in several sections. There's also a search box where you can search. So if you just search for Shai's grading, you will get all the different types of grading which are by Shai, including the hypertensive retinopathy and all the others. So, iGrader, right now available only on Android, but uh, you can search and get it. Oh, uh, one more app, which uh, especially for Pondicherry and Tamil Nadu residents is the I Know Tamil app, which you can use to communicate with patients who know Tamil. And uh, if you, that is if you do not know Tamil, it has uh, phrases for uh, speaking to for asking questions to the patients and they are arranged into different places like the slit lamp examination, the operation theater and things like that. Then there is a 3D atlas of ophthalmology which has 3D pictures. To see the 3D pictures you need to get these red blue uh, goggles, not very expensive. You can get one for I think uh, 20 rupees for the paper one, 200 for the plastic one and you can see the 3D or you can use the virtual reality headset and see the 3D pictures. These pictures were taken by me using smartphones. And uh, there is also a third method which I'm working on, which will allow you to see the 3D like Facebook 3D pictures. So then you don't need to use the 3D headset or the uh, red blue glasses also. That is 3D Atlas of ophthalmology. Then there is another app for FRC of that is FRC of part one. So there are lots of exam oriented apps. I'm not going more into that. The American Academy of Ophthalmology has an app specifically for residents. And this is how you get to it. There are several other apps for ophthalmologists. So there are innovative apps for ophthalmologists for eye testing, the vision testing, color vision, contrast sensitivity, stereo equity, and so many other things. And uh, that is covered in this article. If you want, you can have a look at this article. And then there are apps for visually impaired patients. Uh, this is also covered in this article. There are several apps for visually impaired patients. Now let us go to YouTube and uh, videos.
So if you look at uh, YouTube, there are several, several YouTube channels for ophthalmologists. I'm not covering all of them. I'll just pick a few. Before we go into YouTube, let us first look at iTube. So iTube is YouTube for ophthalmologists. So it is very, very um, specific for ophthalmologists, but the content is limited and you have to log in, register and all that. But you, if you have something which you want here, then it is uh, excellent. You get very good content here. And iTube also has a 3D uh, section, which I have uh, incorporated into my uh, 3D Atlas app, where you can see the surgical videos in 3D by wearing the 3D goggles or the virtual reality headset. And uh, Arvindai Hospital Pondicherry has Orotube, which has lots and lots of beautiful videos and uh, interviews and webinars. So just go to Orotube, search for Orotube, Arvindai Hospital Pondicherry, and you will see lots of useful information. There is the SICS uh, series with animations, which is beautiful. All uh, all ophthalmology residents should look at that MSICS series on the Orotube channel. Then uh, there is a new channel. Uh, Dr. Annapurna has made this five-minute ophthalmology pearls. All the videos are very short, short videos, and they cover small, small topics. So when you don't have much time and you just want to look at one particular topic, this is where you go. Five-minute ophthalmology pearls. You, they, she covers specific, specific topics with uh, similar uh, YouTube animations, uh, uh, PowerPoint animations and made it into a, a useful YouTube video. There are several other websites. Let me just quickly go over it. So we saw that Moranai Center has the core website. So this is the corresponding YouTube channel. Dr. Pranesh Parasupramaniam from Arvind uh, Madurai, he has an interesting website where he tries to teach ophthalmology to residents. So there is King's classes, then AOS proceedings, AOS headquarters, academic research council, they all have very, very useful extensive uh, websites. American Academy of Ophthalmology, Cochin Ophthalmic Club. Cochin Ophthalmic Club recently conducted several webinars, uh, some targeted specifically at residents. Orbis Cybersite as a website, as a YouTube channel, or a tube we had a look at right now. Neuro Ophthalmology, there is a beautiful YouTube channel by Andrew Lee and Eye Anatomy Physiology by Dr. Najib. This may be more for entrance preparation as well as for early study. So this is there. Then Timothy Roo, Steve Cohen, Young Ophthalmology Society of India. I have to shout out to them. Uh, then Agarwal's Eye Hospital Ophthalmology Lectures is a different uh, specific YouTube channel. Shankar Academy of Vision, Connie Koglani's Dr. Uday Devgan has very, very good surgical videos. He analyzes the surgical videos, cataract surgery videos. If you want, you can send in your cataract surgery video to Dr. Uday Devgan on his website. He will look at it and he will critique it, analyze it and critique it. And if you don't want your name, uh, because you are not sure that your video is good, you can even send it anonymously and he will critique the video for you and put it on the YouTube channel so that everybody will benefit. Dr. Sudhir Singh Squint, Dr. Pradeep Mohanta, he has been regularly uploading videos for the past couple of years, cataract surgery. So if you want to learn fake emulsification, this is another website, uh, Dr. Pradeep Mohanta. Dr. Saurabh Patwardhan, he is also very much into fake homosexuation. Dr. Aik Ahmed, uh, he, is, he is a very, very interesting, uh, very, very uh, excellent surgeon, glaucoma surgeon. He has lots of uh, edge of the seat videos where you have uh, very complicated cases operated and he goes step by step. He breaks down the complex surgeries into simple, simple steps so that you can uh, understand how to go about it. Then there is eye movies, eye infirmary, Dr. Susan Jacob, Dr. Ramakrishna Tadanki, Dr. Deepak Megor also has beautiful videos, Dr. Ashish Mehra, and then um, Dr. Biju Raju, he is a vitreoretinal surgeon in Cochin, and uh, myself. I don't have many videos, but uh, we are trying to put up more videos now. So thank you. I hope all these resources were useful for you.
you can have a look at uh, my article also if you want the links or you can just go back and i have put the links all on the uh, pages here so if you just scroll back onto the youtube recorded version of this webinar you can see those links okay thank you thank thank you dr john um, any questions from here Uh, let me ask a question how many of you arvin pondicherry st uh, students how many of you have listened to podcast just raise your hand any podcast not not even of them all any podcast i think i see half raised hand so you have 1 2 3 okay a few people uh, how many of you have listened to of them all podcast i think oh i see a half raised hand okay so uh, yeah uh, so just wanted to know because i found podcast very useful when traveling um, maybe you will find it useful also um one question john uh, like what is um, is it is one network free now it is free for all uh, aios members so you just uh, have to go into the aios website and just see the instructions on how to activate your one network mem uh, membership it is free for aios members okay because uh, we tried doing that but we were not able to do that last year uh, it, it, they had not connected it properly so i also had some issues then i had to call the help desk and they sorted it out and then uh, i was able to log in so even now i'm able to log into one network okay thank you john in case um, the good thing here is that all of these um, websites are available in our youtube channel now in this yeah. station yeah. so if uh, we want to go through we can go through that ppt and uh, i mean this presentation and we'll be able to log into those channels yeah yeah so thank you thank you very much uh, dr john for giving us uh, the talk so, yeah, most most welcome I, i would also like to ask the residents there uh, maybe you still time to start a podcast who wants to volunteer nobody okay fine <laughs> okay because there is a need there is a need for an indian of the mology podcast i think i see some hands being raised no they just okay fine i'll ask them to contact you yeah yeah <laughs> okay Okay, John.